Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to pass through or share your host's hardware, physical hardware, with your Hyper-V virtual machine. Now, in the last video, we created this Windows 10 virtual machine on Hyper-V. And in fact, we are connected to it right now. With that out of the way, we are going to take a look in Device Manager. And under display adapters, we are going to see two adapters, Hyper-V video and remote display adapter. Now, today's goal is to pass through or to share our host graphics card with this virtual machine. And by the end of this video, we'll see another display adapter other than these two. With that said, let's power down this virtual machine. It needs to be shut down because we need to access the internal the boot drive to this virtual machine. We need to access the internal storage. So once the machine is shut down, we are going to head into File Explorer. And inside File Explorer, we are going to check out our VM's installation directory. So I stored it in test, moved it around slightly instead of being on the main directory it's now in a separate folder and we're gonna locate its hard disk now if you don't know where the virtual hard disk is stored you can easily look by clicking into the settings page and clicking on hard drive it will tell you where the disk is stored now for this procedure you will want to if, in case you haven't already, disable your checkpoints. Checkpoint is a feature that allows you to roll back the changes you made to the VM, or in other words, revert the VM back to a prior state if and when need be, similar to how VMware Snapshot works. Anyways, back to the point. We'll want to make sure that first of all, our checkpoints feature is disabled, as said before, and second of all, we don't have any checkpoints listed here because for every checkpoint, Hyper-V will create a AVHDX file from which your VM will now boot, which will be a hassle to deal with when we are trying to edit the contents of the VM's main boot drive later on. With that said, let's cancel out and go back to the directory containing our virtual hard disk file. Now we want to double click on it or right click to select mount. I'm just going to double click on it and it will mount a new local disk to our host's file explorer. So inside that disk, we want to go to the Windows System32 directory. So a, uh, a search for System32 should... Aha, there it is. Okay. And inside this directory, we want to navigate by clicking H to the H section. You want to check that there's there's nothing that resemble the folder host driver store which there shouldn't be because this is a stock windows 10 instance and we just installed it like yesterday or the day before yesterday i don't exactly know but the thing we want to do right now is we are going to create a new folder called host driver store navigate to that folder and we are going to open a new instance of file explorer so just middle mouse button on the file explorer icon it should open up a new instance and from here you'll want to navigate to your host uh, system 32 folder now a quicker way to access that is by typing in c slash windows slash system 32 once you're in there, look for a folder called driver store. Just click D on your keyboard and it should take you to the D section. Driver store, here it is. Now, you will want to select all of the folders in the host driver store folder. Drag that up to the other window and it's going to prompt you to provide administrator permission to copy to this folder. Just select do this for all current items and click continue. After that's done, we are going to want to 
go back to our host system 32 make sure that you are looking at the right window here because this is local disk g this is local disk c it's pretty easy to confuse so you will want to go back to system 32 and um, down there click v click n until you reach the individual file section you don't want to be uh, up there on the folder section so yeah just click n until you reach files that start with nv those are the nvidia drivers we'll want to copy over these are n e i'm just gonna scroll down but if you are not sure where nv is just keep pressing n until you see nv this is nt ah there it is now here's the first of our nv files holding down shift we want to click the last of the nvs so the last of my nvs should be here we want to hold down shift and press that that's going to select all the files we want and same as last time we are going to drag that up to this folder and do this for all current items after that is copied over um we're going to want to go back to to this window well actually we don't need to go back but just close it just in case because system 32 is not a very friendly place to just hang out in so we want to close that and once all the files are here once we are sure that all files have been copied we are gonna right click this local disk g and click eject next we are gonna instead of connecting go to our star icon right click and go to windows powershell admin grant administrator privileges of course and after that we will want to use a script that I have over here naturally it will be down in the description but for now we are just gonna uh, paste it into our PowerShell window and change the VM name of this script to be the VM name of your VM so if you're not sure take a look it's named test so we are going to enter vn name equals test and keep the rest of the script as is click enter once the script successfully executes we should be all done now we can exit the powershell window and power up the virtual machine let's just select nope not rename just power up and navigate to the window where it shows let's go okay now we're up let's sign in and we can head to device manager to check our new card out now that we're in device manager under video adapters we will see our new nvidia card in there now if you notice a little icon a little warning icon next to the display adapter it means that you don't have all your updated driver files in the vm so you'll have to do all the copying and pasting and making sure that your graphics driver on the host is up to date once more before checking in again on the virtual machine and make sure that there's no icon in there. Now, you might have noticed today's demo was done on an NVIDIA card. The same process or a similar process is technically doable also for AMD GPUs. You just have to find the driver files for your AMD card and copy it to the virtual machine in a similar fashion that we did for our NVIDIA driver files today. On another note, if your host machine has more than one display adapter per your host machine's device manager, you have to disable one for the other to show up in your virtual machine or else the system's gonna pick automatically which one to pass in no matter which driver files you copy in. So in my case, I have an AMD integrated graphics and an NVIDIA discrete card in my machine. And if I didn't disable my AMD iGPU, I couldn't, I just couldn't pass in my NVIDIA card no matter how hard I try. So make sure you do take note of that. 
With all of that said, it's time for us to benchmark the performance of the card that we just passed into this VM. For today's benchmark, we are going to be using MSI Combustor. Well, it looks like uh, it's not currently installed on our VM. Please hold. Now that we're inside Combustor, let's run the stress test. Well, let's just use the default one. And let's set the resolution to 4K and run it on 4090, see how it does. So it's running, and it's at 4K. The FPS is of course not great because it's 4K and it's a stress test designed to stress the GPU, not to let it run super fast. But we can see that we're on our 4090 here and our VRAM is 24 gigabytes, roughly 24 gigabytes, which is much more than what you will get off of a Microsoft remote display adapter. So anyways, now that we've got ourselves a VM powered by a discrete graphics card, this video is effectively over. Thank you guys for watching and if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit like get subscribed and ring that notification bell to catch all of our future uploads and I'll see you in the next video. Happy gaming!